I got an envelope from Wendy Ewing. Um, I think on Facebook she's Wendy Lee Ewing. And I think there might be an artist trading brush in here, but I'm not sure. So let's open it and find out. It came in over the weekend, um, right before Easter, and I just did not have time to um, <laughs> open it or anything. It's literally, I'm opening it right now. I've, it's been sitting on my desk. All right, and I have it face down because I don't want to show her address, but here's a cute package she sent. I love the tissue paper. <gasps> love the tissue. Okay, I have to save that. And the washi is cute too. It's like watercolory kind of washi that says happiness. Okay, so we're going to have to, first thing we're going to have to try to take that off without messing up the washi. Because I want to save the washi. Okay, got that one. And the string is cute too. It's like purple baker's twine. Very cute. That can be used to bind a little grab and glue book or a junk journal or something. Okay. That's just too cute. I can see that on a journal page. Love it. Didn't even get inside the package yet. All right, so here's the tissue, which is just full of um, envelopes, which I love, okay? know where you got the tissue, Wendy, but it's very, very cute. That'll be added right to my tissue box, which I have to use some of because it's kind of overflowing. This is the artist trading brush, so let's open that last. If you don't know what an artist trading brush is, it is something that we came up with over in my Facebook group, the year-long journaling group, My Year 2017. Um, I do have a video on that. I will try to link it in the description, so you can go over there and click on it. Um, if you want to join the Facebook group, uh, the link for that is also in the description, so you can check it out. All right. So first of all, there is an index card or postcard here, which I can add to my library box, and she signed it and dated it on the back. Cute. Some really cute um, lace that looks like she hand dyed with like spray inks or something, which is totally cute. I love that. That's gonna go in my little scraps bin with the baker's twine. And this is some packaging. It says ball pens, black ink, two count. And, but I love the, the lace might have been wrapped around it, but I have a bin of just packaging, Wendy, so that's going to go up there. <laughs> These are some little, like, journaling cards or game cards or something. They're cute. This is a little canvas that you're supposed to color, I guess. It looks like something from maybe Tuesday morning. And it's an actual piece of printed canvas stapled to a substrate. So that's pretty interesting. I might actually want to take that apart and use it some way, but that's interesting. All right, I like that. Some of these felt pieces that I think I got these in one of the round robin boxes, and I don't know if they were from Wendy or what, but I saved those because I thought they were interesting too, and they went in my fabric scraps box, which these will too. As soon as I figure out which fabric scraps box, I put the other ones in so they're all together. <laughs> Some bits of scrapbooking paper. Always cute, always useful. One little um, like journaling card. Cute. A scrap piece of dark blue um, fabric. It feels like um, canvas or it's a kind of a thicker material, not quite canvasy thick, but that's always handy to have. That again is going to go over here with the fabric. This is reimbursement and coding for moder moderate to severe RA. Okay, it's a medical, something medical, but I'm not. I'm sure that's not why she sent it. It would make a really cute glue book. And I love the fact that it has tabs already and it's got an envelope in our pocket in the back here. That's going to be a cute glue book or something. Some sheet music, always handy. Um, this looks like it's the leftovers from 
Valentine punch outs or something, something of chipboard, but this would be a cute stencil or um, even better yet, I might put this in my packaging box because this would just be cute as a collage element, texture element. So that's probably going to go in the collage, in the um, packaging box. And I'm kind of, yes, I'm kind of sorting things as I'm going through. Um, more really cute tissue. This is cute um, tissue with script writing on it. I love that. Some painted paper towel. Always cute. I do have a box of painted papers. Here's another piece of painted paper, and this one's textured. I'm not sure. I don't know. I guess it could just be paint, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's something else. It's rough, but it's really pretty. And then this one here. Really cool, Wendy. All right, and then here's the artist trading brush, which she put another piece of cute washi on. It says Dream. And then, I'll, although I think I have that washi in my drawer, I'm going to save that one. <laughs> so here's my artist trading brush. Oh, so cute. Oh, that is cute. So she uh, painted up a brush and, uh, you know, add some, she signed and dated it. Add some creative, um, crafty, artistic inspiration and mojo to the brush. Put a little tag on it with a note and a pa cute paper clip. Really, really cute, Wendy. Thank you so much. I can now add it to my collection of artist trading brushes. I'm going to have to get a bigger jar soon, but they're so pretty. So they just, as a whole, make a really pretty collection in my art room. So I love them. All right, that's it for today, everybody. Again, if you want to um, make and trade your own artist trading brushes, if you want to see what that's all about, check the link in the for the other video in the description. Um, if you want to join the My Year 2017 Facebook group or my other group, the links for that's also in the description below, along with my happy mail address, my email, all of that stuff. And um, support my channel if you can by shopping in my Etsy shop. Um, I'd appreciate that. I have my own line of rubber stamps, my own line of stencils. I wrote a book this last year. Uh, you can buy all of them from my Etsy shop. Uh, the book is also available on Amazon. Uh, that's it for today. The most important thing, of course, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.